So we, as we take a few moments and think about ter- turning inward, we want to start burning off negativity, burning off hatred, burning off discrimination, just burning off all the stuff before the stuff gets to us. So we're just going to take a few moments here to turn the senses inward. I want you to sit comfortably in the chair. You could use the back of the chair. If you have trouble sitting up, the silver sneakers ball behind your back can help you sit up nice and straight. So feet flat on the floor. So if you need to scoot forward to get those feet flat, do so. And then make sure you're sitting up nice and straight. We're just going to lower the lids of the eyes. If you feel awkward having your eyes closed, how about nine tenths closed, staring at the ground in front of you? I want you to inhale. Bring the crown of your head up closer to the ceiling. And as you exhale, keeping lips sealed, bring the sit bones deeper into the chair. So right away, I got your mind working on your body. The lips are sealed. The air is in through the nose and out of the nose. Inhale, the crown of the head goes up. Exhale, the sit bones go down. Is your mind wandering off? So what we want to do, if our mind is getting really busy, let's practice chilling out a little bit. A real great chill out breath. We're going to count our inhale. Perhaps it's three or four counts for your inhale. And I want you to double it, six or eight. Really getting busy on thinking about the breath. So as you're exhaling, you're feeling those sit bones sink into the chair. As you're inhaling, you're feeling the crown of the head float up towards the sky. We're just going to layer on with that breath and using your imagination as we center and ground and connect to begin our class. We work on lengthening the spine a little. Inhaling, bringing the crown of the head up. And exhale, the sit bones down. Now as you inhale, I want you to feel your torso expanding from the ribs and below. Feel the whole torso expand outward. Ribs expand out, sides and back. And as you exhale, you gently feel everything move towards your spine. Torso expanding as you inhale, contracting as you exhale. Can you still continue to get length in your spine? Inhaling and exhaling. Filling the torso with your breath. And exhale, just letting the torso come back towards the spine. And now we're going to add a contraction or two. First is the lower body, the perineum, the pelvic floor. Inhale, fill the body up. Pelvic floor relaxes. And as you exhale, lift the pelvic floor up. Inhaling, fill the body up with your breath. And exhale, just lift the pelvic floor up, feeling the sit bones root in, inhaling, feeling the feet root in too. Now, as you exhale, I want you to add something on. Lift the pelvic floor up and pull the pubic bone in nice and tight. Inhale, fill the torso up with your breath. As you exhale, lift the pelvic floor up and pull the pubic bone. These are called energetic locks in the body. The pelvic floor coming up is mula, the root lock. And the pubic bone pulling in is the upward lifting lock. So you feel lifted. 
Inhaling, opposing forces, joining right in that area of the pelvis. Three more breaths, just like that. We'll get moving a little bit. Contracting as you exhale. Now let's drop the hands to the side, bring your palms forward. Your eyes can open. The eye position is very important. We're going to inhale, be looking, staring at the ground. The spine is long. And we're going to inhale, reach our hands up, look at our thumbs as they come together. And as you exhale, spread the fingers wide, stare down your nose at the floor in front of you. Let's take three of those, inhaling and exhaling. So the beginning of your inhale lifts the arms up. As you end your inhale, the hands come together. As you begin your exhale, the hands come down. So that's a lot going on. Fill that body up as you inhale. And then contract that pelvis area as you exhale. Can you feel the difference? Next time, we're going to pull our elbows into our back pockets. Inhale, lift the hands up. Exhale, drive the elbows right in the back pockets, opening up the chest. How's the shoulder? You may have a, a limb that's a shoulder that's sore. You can drop that arm down at your side, bring it in front of you a little bit. What we're trying to do is open the chest, open the front of the shoulders. But if there's pain, we never push through. So we're going to inhale from here and exhale. Bring our hands up. Inhale, place your hands on the thighs. Take a resting exhale, plank the feet flat into the ground, toes pointing forward. And we're going to inhale, straighten our arms, and exhale, fold 45 degrees. Pelvic floor is lifting up. We're going to inhale, come on up, flat back. And exhale, fold forward. Seated forward fold. Push in your feet as you come on up, inhaling and exhaling. Inhale, come on up. Exhale, come on down. Now let's bring our hand, one hand down. Notice the stress it puts on the back. If there's pain, don't proceed. And then drop the other arm down. Putting a little strain on the back, getting our back nice and strong. Let's bring our palms forward. Press those feet in. Inhale, lift those hands up overhead. Exhale, hands in the back pockets, or elbows in the back pockets. Good, go ahead, wiggle those fingers. Keep them nice and relaxed. Spread apart. Inhale, exhale, drive those elbows down. Inhale, lift those hands up. Exhale, hands on the thighs. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, fold forward. This time, eyes on the right fingertips. Inhale, let's come on up. Look at your right fingertips. Come on up. It's a just forward twist here. Come on down as you exhale. Inhale, that left hand goes up. Exhale, bring the fingertips down. Both palms forward. Press with those feet. Inhale, come on up. Let's just take a rest. Bring those hands right in front of your heart. And let's take rest here. Lengthen your spine. Put those feet into the ground. So I'm resting and having you think an awful lot. We're going to keep your mind very active. Listen to your inhale, four count inhale, eight count exhale. We start from the top. Inhale brings the crown of the head up. Exhale brings the sit bones into the chair. Inhale, we're filling up that torso. Exhale, we're lifting the pelvic floor, pulling the pubic bone in. Three breaths. All right, let's go ahead and shake out the hands, release the hands right onto the lap. And we're going to work with the legs a little bit, so you can feel free to sit back in your chair. Taking that right foot, you're going to bring it right off the ground, using some muscle strength to hold the leg up. All we're going to do here is pull the toes towards the face and spread the toes apart. And as you exhale, you're going to push your toes together and point away. 
Inhale, pull and spread. I think I'm going to take my shoes, my socks off. Exhale, point away. Really get the toes to come together. Inhale, try to pull those toes apart. And exhale, push them together. Three more, just like that. Good job. If your leg's getting tired, you could lower it down. Inhaling, exhaling. Last one, inhaling. Now exhale, hold the pointed toe. And let's draw a circle with that toe, rotating through the ankle. My ankle's tight, how about yours? Let's go the opposite way, keeping the toe pointed. If you get crampy, I need you to grab a sip of water right away. I can get you one if you don't have one. Let's go ahead, shake the foot, place it down. Same exercise right on the other side. Let's inhale, bring that foot up. Toes towards your face, spread apart. Exhale, they come together and point away. Inhale, pull them up towards you and apart. And exhale, push them together and away. Even in your shoes, try to push your shoe apart and push those toes together. Really get your mind connected to the farthest thing away from your brain, those toes. Excellent. We're going to take one more breath here. Hold that pointed toe, isolating that ankle. Let's draw a circle. How does it feel? Continue to breathe. And let's go the opposite way. All right. Good job, everybody. Shake out that foot. Bring your feet flat on the ground. Let's work the spine a little bit. Come to the edge of your chair, and we're going to do the seated cat cow. So what I'm going to have you do is do this from a wide-legged position. This is going to get you in touch with the um, pelvic floor muscles a little bit. So feel those, those sit bones sitting in the chair. And you're going, so you make, you don't want to make, you want to make sure you're not sitting on one cheek more than the other. Balance your weight out equally between those sit bones and heel toe your feet apart as wide as you are comfortable. And I want you to take a look. You might need even to bend over. You want the knee right over that ankle bone. Knee bone over ankle bone. Line them up so you're nice and safe so nobody injures their knees here. You can just rest your hands right on your thighs. Great. It's inhaling, exhaling, come right back to the beginning of class, right? We're paying attention to our breath. Remember, if your mind's getting wandering off, getting busy, double that exhale. Hands are resting on the thighs. Inhale, we're going to slide our hands back. Elbows come together. Chest lifts up. Chin lifts up. Head does not get thrown back. We just look up. And as we exhale, we're going to slide our hands over our knee, pull our shoulder blades apart, tuck our chin, and look between our feet. Round that back. Inhale, we arch the back, look up. And then exhale, we round the back, look down, tuck that chin. As you inhale, I want you to feel those sit bones come apart. And exhale, feel those sit bones come together. That's your pelvic floor muscle. Three more just like that. This is our seated, wide-legged cat cow. All right, let's find a nice neutral spine. Sit up nice and tall. Chin parallel to the ground. And go ahead and walk those feet in. All right, so we want to pedal those feet a little bit, work out any kinks we may have created, and now we are going to go into a seated twist. Hands are on the thighs, close to the knees. You're going to slide your right hand back towards your hip. Elbow pulls towards the spine. Your eyes are open, and you turn and look behind you. And then inhale, slide your hand forward. Exhale, slide the hand back. The elbow pulls towards the spine. Your eyes are open and you look behind you. Inhale, come center. Our gentle seated twist. Inhaling. And exhaling deep into your seated twist. Use your eyes to take your cervical spine. Inhaling and exhaling. 
Last one, nice long spine, nice twist. Inhale, nice long spine. All right, we have two more ways the spine bends. Arms at the sides. You can just relax your arms, the weight of your shoulders, or the weight of your arms, pulling your shoulders away from your ears. And what we're going to do is simply take our right ear and drop it towards our right shoulder. Let's just take one breath here. Let your ear relax as you exhale towards the shoulder. And then inhale, bring your head up. So that was just the cervical spine in a side bend. Now we're going to drop our ear to our shoulder, and we're going to really protect that cervical spine. Just rest your head, and then we're going to take our palm, push it towards the ground as we lift our left hand, make a fist, bring it towards our armpit, pit, just like we're our little teapot. But I want you to press the ground, get length in that arm, relax the head, take three breaths in that side bend. Eyes open towards the ceiling. Good. You don't want to fold forward here. And then as you take your last exhale, inhale. Bring the crown of the head up. Shake out the hands. So we're going to just rest our left ear. Let's bring the crown of the head up. Take our left ear right over to the left shoulder. All right, we take our left hand. Let it hang down. We're going to flex at the wrist there, palm the ground. Let our right arm hang down. We're going to inhale, and as we exhale, we're going to press our palm down, pull our right hand up to our armpit, and we hang out for three breaths. Relax your head. So it's a nice, gentle side bend. After your third exhale, you're going to inhale, bring yourself up, hands rest on the thighs, crown of the head lifts up. Let's rest for a few breaths, and then we're going to come into some standing work. So feel your spine become nice and long. Inhale, bringing the crown of your head up. Exhale, bringing the sit bones down, just like we started. And as you exhale, get used to engaging that pelvic floor muscle. Pull it up. Pull your pubic bone in. I want you to get used to those contractions because as we come to standing, it's going to help your balance. So uh, sit to standing. We could use some momentum. As you shoulders lean forward over the knees, let's make sure that ankles are right over the knees. And if you have a knee that has an issue, you're going to bring that foot back just a little bit. So nice and tall spine. We hinge at the hips. We never round the back unless we're doing our cat cows. We're going to take our shoulders. They're going to go over the knees. The rear end's going to come off the chair. Your feet, your heels are going to press into the ground. Keep the weight off the toes and balls of your feet. That'll put pressure into your knees. If you need to use your legs or the chair to get up, feel free to do so. So inhale, exhale, shoulders over knees, nose over toes, push through the heels, stand on up. All right, so if you have um, like your chair in front of your mat so you can hang on to your chair and we stand behind the chair and we find a standing mountain pose. So just like we started class seated, I want to make sure your hips are, and shoulders are lined up so we have nice posture. And then we're going to bring our palms forward. This is going to help open up our chest a little bit. Inhale, fill your torso up. And exhale, lift your pelvic floor and pull your pubic bone in. Now what I want you to do is see if you can, this takes a lot of mental effort, a lot of focus, is to hold the pelvic floor contraction. Hold the pubic bone in. Hold those energetic locks so the next time you inhale, you're just expanding through the ribs, stimulating those adrenal glands sitting right on top of the kidney, and then exhale, giving them a nice squeeze. Let's bring all the muscles in towards the spine as you exhale. See if that makes you feel like a nice, strong mountain here. Hold that pelvic floor contraction. Hold that TVA contraction, the pubic bone pulling in. 
It's going to get you nice and warm. Nice slight bend in the knees. We're going to inhale, sweep those hands up overhead. Look at your thumbs come together. And exhale, pull your elbows in your back pockets. Let's inhale, bring those hands up again. Exhale, fingertips on the chair. Let's inhale, raise the heels up. Let's look up and lift the chest. Let's go ahead and lower those heels down. Good. Walk your feet back. We're going to just hold this downward facing dog for two breaths. So get those feet right underneath your hips. Try to get your fingertips, elbow, shoulder, top of the head all in line, looking at the ground. Listen to your inhale, listen to your exhale. Go ahead, lift your pelvic floor up here and hold that contraction. It's not easy. Feel what it does to the connection to the floor. You're grounding to the earth. Now inhale, pick up your face. Let's take this right foot, step it forward. All right, I want you to take your left foot and I want you to spin it flat so that back heel, that foot is about at a 45 degree angle. So it may be hard for you to push your hip forward if you have a tight hip. It may want to like really open up here. So you want to make sure your hip, like if you had a flashlight in the front of your hip, it would be hitting, the light would be hitting the chair. That right knee is bent right over the ankle. All right, so this is our warrior one. I want your shoulders over your hips. All right, put some weight in the back foot. Good. See how it takes them out of the front foot? Good. Now, equal weight between both feet. All right. Let's bring one arm up and then the other arm up. All right. Can you look up without falling over? All right. Lift your pelvic floor up. Pull your pubic bone in. Here's our warrior one. If you have a tight shoulder, leave your arm down. Go ahead. Let's bring our elbows in our back pocket here. Good. Lift that chest. Look up. Perfect. Let's bring those elbows together. A little chest work. Inhale. Open up. Exhale. Elbows together. Good. Last one. Good. We can put our hands on the chair here. Spin that heel straight back. Step forward. Just go ahead. Shake out the feet. All right. Do the same thing right on the other side. Palms forward, our standing mountain. On an inhale, bring those hands up overhead. Exhale, elbows in the back pocket. Good. Inhale, reach on up. Exhale, fingertips on the chair. Inhale, lift the heels, lift the chin, lift the chest. Look up. Exhale, lower the heels. Keep the chest lifted. As you step back, we have two breaths in our down dog. One line, fingertips to hips. Get that head tucked in. Just two breaths. Inhale. Pick up your face. Take that left foot. Step it forward. Spin that right heel backwards. 45 degree angle. That left knee is bent. It may require effort to keep that hip forward. You could separate the feet to make it a little easier. All right. See if your hands can come off the chair. Shoulders are over the hips. Feeling strong and stable, we can bring one arm up and then the other. You can hang on to the chair here as well. Elbows into the back pocket. Right, so it's a variation of our warrior one. Looking up, feel the stretch in the front of that back hip. Inhale, elbows apart. Exhale, bring them together. So moving. Great job, everybody. Perfect. All right, take a break. Drop those arms, fingertips on the chair. Spin that foot straight before you step forward. No straining of the ankles. Go ahead, shake out your feet. All right, so that was our warrior one. Let's just stand in a, let's just find a chair pose for strength. So point those toes forward about hip width distance apart, fingertips on the chair. And all you're going to do is put a nice little bend in your knees. Now push your hips back. Put a little bit more bend in your knees. Keep a lot of the weight in your heels. Now take one hand, put it on your heart, and the other. Hands together. 
There is our chair pose. Look up. Who wants to try a hand up? And then another. I don't. Hurts my back. I don't want to do it. So three breaths in your version of chair. You can have your arms reaching forward. You can sink a little lower. Whatever works for your body. It's only one more breath. As you exhale, come to standing mountain. Notice the effort it took for your legs. Notice the strength in your legs. Awesome. Let's inhale, lift up. Exhale, elbows in back pocket. Inhale, reach on up. Exhale, fingertips to chair. Inhale, lift the heels, chin and chest. Exhale, step back to your downward dog. Take a breath. Stretch the back and back of the legs. Inhale, pick up the face. Right foot steps forward, left foot flat. We're going right into our warrior one. Hands up, hands at your sides. It's still a var variation of warrior one. And then we, what we're going to do here is take this left arm and bring it back. Notice it pull your left hip back too. And then bring your right arm up. And now we've moved into warrior two. So I want you to bring your gaze over the chair, over that fingertip. Your hips are open to the left side of the room. Your shoulder blades are down your back. You can breathe. You can't breathe, you don't belong, right? You went too far. Reach those fingertips out. Good, can you spin your hips forward for warrior one, hands up. And go ahead, let's step forward. Bring the heel straight, step forward. Take a break, shake it out, we'll do the other side. Hands at your sides, palms forward. Let's do a little chair. Inhale, push your hips back, pull your knees back, put all the weight in your heels. Hands to the heart or hands on the chair. Keep the spine nice and long or hands reach up. Whatever works for you. Three breaths. Get those weight into the, blow those leg muscles up. Good. Inhale, exhale, come to mountain. Inhale, reach those hands up overhead. Exhale, elbows in back pockets. Hopefully you're feeling the heat. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fingertips to chair. Inhale, lift heels, chin and chest. Exhale, lower the heels, leave the chest lifted. Step back, two breaths. Lengthen your spine here for those two breaths. Inhale, pick up your face. Left foot forward, right foot spins flat. We're just adding on to that first warrior one. Hands can be down if you'd like. Inhale, bring them up. And then what we're going to do is take the right hand, bring it behind us. Circle it behind you. Notice that. Pull that hip open. Bring your left fingertips right in front of the chair. Look forward. Hips are open to the right. Warrior two. Annette, you want to switch your feet. Take another breath. Shoulders down your back. Inhale. Bring your hands up, hips forward. Fingertips on the chair. Spin your heel up. Step forward. Shake things out. I got one more to add on, guys. What we're going to do is go over it before we do add it on to our flow. It is the triangle. So most of you have done it before. We're going to add it on to our warrior two. So let's open up the feet. We'll do it here facing forward. We might as well. You're going to take your right heel, rotate on the heel, take your right toe, spin it out. So legs are going to be straight here but not locked out. You want a nice micro bend in them. And already this position opens the hip. So we're gonna put a little pressure on the hip to open the hip, and we're gonna stretch out the left side body. If your limbs are tired, your shoulders hurt, you can leave your arms down. If it feels good for you, stretch those arms wide. You're gonna take your eyeballs, look over the middle finger of your right hand. Now you're going to inhale and exhale. Reach your right hand out as far as it's going to go. There's nowhere else for it to go. Drop your right hand. You can place it right on your right thigh. And then you can lift your left hand up. If that shoulder hurts, I want your hand to wrap behind your back to roll your chest open. 
Now the crown of the head is pointing towards the right side of the room. Get as long as you can. Pressure on the hip, opening the side body, opening the chest. If you want more effort here, drop that right arm down. It puts all your body weight on it. Inhale and exhale. Come on up. Lift your pelvic floor up as you come up. Drop your arms down. Spin your right toe forward. Walk these feet in. Give things a shake. Low back needs a little release. High knees. High knees. Stretch that low back out. Good. On to the other side. You're going to open those feet nice and wide. Take your left heel, spin on it. Spin your right left toes towards the left, opening up that left hip. This is our external rotation here. Legs stay straight, but not locked out. So nice micro bend. If you're comfortable, float those arms up. Eyes go over the left middle finger. We're going to inhale. Exhale, reach those left fingertips as far as they're going to go. And then drop your left fingertips down, right hand up or behind the back. You can rest your hand on your thigh for support. If you want to get a little deeper, bring all your body weight into this pose, this triangle. You guys look great. Hear yourself breathe. Nice and calm, steady breath. Little down at the ground. Inhale, exhale. Come on up. Squeeze those bandhas. Toe forward. Drop your hands down. Walk your feet in. Give everything a shake. All right, so we are going to add a little, we're going to put it all together and add a little balance work. So find your standing mountain, and we'll take a nice rest. Hopefully this gets you guys nice and hot. Inhale. Let's reach our hands up overhead. Exhale, elbows in back pocket. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, fingertips to chair. Inhale, lift chin and chest and heels. Exhale, keep the chin and chest lifted as you walk your feet back. Big stretch and down dog. It should feel good. Two breaths. Now inhale, pick up your face. Bring your right foot forward, your left foot flat. We're going to inhale, find our warrior one. And then keep that knee right where it's at, bent right over that right ankle, and open up for warrior two. You got to watch that knee from rolling in here. Now inhale, straighten that leg. Exhale, reach out, drop in for triangle. Your chair is right in front of you. I want you to hang on to your chair with your right hand. I want you to come up. I want you to stand up and straighten that leg. And I want you to bring the hip right over the foot. Float that left leg up and bring your left hand up. So it is called standing half moon. We go right from triangle into standing half moon. All right, come on down. Feel all that work in that hip, huh? All right, bring your feet forward. We got to do the other side. All right, arms at your side. Take a little rest. Listen to your breath. Inhale, lift on up. Exhale, elbows in back pockets. Good. Inhale, reach on up. Exhale, fingertips to chair. Inhale, heels, chin and chest. Exhale, step on back. Two breaths in downward dog. Get a big stretch here. Nice and hot. The body's lengthening. Inhale, lift up your face. Take that left foot, step it forward. The right foot rolls flat. Inhale, bring those arms up for warrior one. Exhale, open up to warrior two. Good. Inhale, straighten that left leg. Reach out. Drop the hand down. Come into triangle. So our body's nice and open. And then we're going to hang on to the chair. Come forward, float on up for a little balance. You can use the chair here. Uh -huh. And then come on down. And then you're going to face the front of the chair. Step forward. We need a rest in down dog. Inhale, heels, chin, and chest. 
Exhale, step back, and you're going to rest here for five breaths. Fingertips to hips. One line, head is down, in line with the fingertips and hips. You're breathing. You can hear yourself breathe. You're nice and hot. The back of your legs are getting a good stretch. If there's pain, I don't, I want you to bend your knees a whole bunch. Inhale, pick up your face. Exhale, step on forward. All right, let's just rest in mountain. Palms forward. I want your feet pointing forward. How about trying bringing out your feet all the way together? Squeeze your leg muscles together. Lift your pelvic floor up. Pull your pubic bone in. Try to hold it just for five more breaths. Lower the lids of your eyes. Lengthen your exhale for me. Preparing yourself for some meditation. Bring our fingertips to the chair. Shake out the legs. Hopefully your leg muscles were working for, through that. You feel like you need a rest. That's the whole idea. The best time to meditate is kind of when you're tired. It is 100% different from sleep. So sleep, you fall asleep. People can be walking around you. You have no idea what's going on around you when you're sleeping. When you're meditating. You are completely relaxed, but hyper aware of everything that's going on around you. The more you practice, the more clairvoyant you become. You really pick up on all that subtle energy around you. So nice straight spine for your meditation. I like to call this meditation. You're going to use your imagination. I use my hands so I remember. I call this my five-finger prayer, five-finger meditation. Some people like to call it prayer. So imagine your hands in prayer position. The closest thing to your heart are your thumbs. Now I want the thumbs are going to represent everybody that is closest to your heart, everybody that you love and everyone that loves you. I want you to send this healing vibration, this healing energy that you created in your body. I want you to share it with those that you love, those that love you. Take a few moments. The next finger in your hand is your pointer finger, your index finger. This finger represents those that point you in the right direction. Oftentimes you pay. These are professionals in your life. Your doctors, your lawyers, your accountants, the nurses. Send your energy, send your healing vibration to those that point you in the right direction. The next finger in our hand is our middle finger. And oftentimes that's the longest finger in our hand. And this finger represents the leaders among us leaders in our community, our churches, families, leaders in our county, leaders of our state, leaders of our country, leaders of industry, leaders in the world that send our healing vibration to those that lead, to those that make decisions that affect so many. Send your love, your healing, your prayers, if you will, to those that lead. The 
the next finger in our hands, our ring finger. And if you weren't aware, the ring finger is the weakest finger on your hand. And we now send this healing vibration, our prayers, our thoughts, our love, to the weakest among us, those that are suffering, those that are going through treatment, those that are isolated. We send this vibration to the weakest among us so they can have some strength, some healing energy. So this five-finger meditation keeps us from being so neurotic when you go to relax, uh, me, me, me. This sends our healing out to, our energy out to others. So now the pinky represents yourself. So I want you to look at yourself sitting here, relaxed. And I want you to watch yourself become healed with this vibration you've built in your body, with this Ujjayi breathing this focus with that energy contractions in the lower body. And go back to the beginning of class. The inhale brings the crown of the head up. The exhale brings those sit bones down. Part of that pelvic floor contraction moves energy through the body, keeps it into the body. Keeps us grounded to the earth. So as you watch yourself sitting here, see yourself grounded and connected. See yourself become healed. See radiant healing white light surround your body. Use your imagination. And I want you to deepen your inhale, deepen your exhale. I want you to bring some movement into those fingertips. Easy peasy, right? We're moving the fingers. All right, settle those fingers down. Now, move the toes. Not so easy, is it? Wiggle those toes like you wiggle your fingers. Same muscle, same muscle movement. So much harder, isn't it? So wiggle those toes, wiggle those fingers at the same time. It gets easier when you do that, for sure. Good. Perfect. Let's take that right leg, stretch it out straight. Leave it low. I don't want you to use any muscles. I had you use a lot of muscles today. Take your left hand out, and you're just going to point your fingertips towards the ground, and then your toes towards your face and your fingers up. So pointing and flexing. Just pointing, flexing, leaving the leg low. We're done with the work. We're just waking up from meditation here. All right, let's switch. Pull those limbs in. Send that left foot out, right hand down. And then we flex the hand and the foot and point at the same time. Good. All right. We're going to do it again with some brain gym. We're going to slide that right foot out, left hand out. We're going to be pointing as we're flexing, right? And then switch it. Oh, that's not as hard as I thought it was going to be. All right, we've got to do the other side. I didn't do enough brain gym today, right? Yoga is brain gym. It makes you think all through class. So we're going to flex the hand while pointing the foot and then switching it. That's all we're doing. Makes our brain work. Good. Yoga is always brain. I have you thinking of so many things. The breathing, the bandhas, where you put your eyes, all the contractions in the muscles. So let's slide those limbs in. Good job today. So we end class with our hands. The energy from the right meets the energy from the left, smack dab right in the middle of kindness, love, and compassion, right in the center of our chest. So. Let's push those hands together. Drop the elbows down if your shoulders are sore. We're going to take these fingertips, point them towards the chin. Take the chin and point them towards the fingertips, lengthening the back of the neck, getting that energy to flow right up to the crown of the head. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me this morning. I honor the place in each one of you of truth, 
of love, of light, and of wisdom. When you're in that place in you, and I'm in that place in me, we all become one. Namaste. Very good. You guys did great. Thank you.